Megan Hicks of I Run Far. I'm with Martina Valdesoy. It's a couple days before the 2023 UTMB. Hi, Martina. How are you doing? Hi, Megan. <laughs> it's nice to be here again. Um, yeah, I'm feeling better. Um, I'm really excited to race this race, my first 100 miler. And uh, yeah, I've been feeling a little bit, uh, yeah, not bad, but just like weird the past week. But Probably it's just like the tapering, uh, uh, <laughs> hitting hard uh, or like combination of tapering and uh, heat. But uh, no, I'm um, really positive and I'm honestly really excited to start and see how this adventure will take me. <laughs> yeah, you've been here in Chamonix for a while training and there was a heat wave prior to this storm that's moved in that we're all wearing jackets for today. So it was difficult heat the last couple of weeks. Yeah, uh, we. I was here like beginning of August to do the Tour de Mont Blanc, uh, okay. the training camp with the Salmon team. And then uh, I stayed another week and then moved to work in Cersinal. And after that, I stayed uh, one week in Italy because, yeah, just uh, more comfortable in yeah. my country, even though even, uh, yeah, I was not at home, but just like uh, in Val d'Ossola and Val Formazza, it was beautiful, but just like so hot all of a sudden. Okay. It was it was really nice temperature when we were training and so that was good at least uh, to have the big block when uh, yeah normal on normal temperatures yeah. and then yeah last week uh, really humid really hot so pretty difficult to to recover well uh, especially as I'm I was staying in my van <laughs> But uh, yeah, now we got snow <laughs> lower than 2,000 meters and I felt great. The past two days it was raining, was miserable and I was like breathing again. It was great, yeah. So Martina is requesting a cold weekend for the race. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, no, I'm really sorry for uh, who's out there now for PTL or the people running TDS tonight, even though I think uh, it might not be raining as much. Uh, yeah to no, tomorrow and uh, well but yes for utmb having like a bit lower temperatures hopefully not raining uh, it's really like i would i cross the finger yeah, for yeah. it <laughs> it's funny when i think of you as a racer i don't necessarily think of super long races but you were here at the festival last year you're the winner of the tds which is like as close to 100 miles as you can be. So are you a 100 mile racer? Because now we're here at UTMB. Yeah, well, I don't know. Honestly, yeah, I still feel like I'm really excited and scared because um, like same feeling as last year, because I don't feel like I, I have the experience, even though, yeah, last year I raced really well uh, TDS, but also it's a different course. Um, there's uh, different dynamics in the race. I led from start to finish and uh, I was able just like to set my pace and uh, and continuing during the day and um, yeah UTMB there's a lot of lots going on that uh, uh, well you you can control of course but it's it makes it more difficult I think um, I'm someone I think I, I'm good at pacing myself but you never know in this kind of situation because uh, you think like, okay, I'm good to pace myself, but then uh, after like, if there's 30 women that are passing you and you're like, uh, okay, so maybe am do- Am I not pacing myself? Am I not pacing? <laughs> am I pacing myself too much? Am I like going too slow? Yeah. Because I, this is the scenario I'm imagining uh, right now, because like on my ideal race, I start slow and and then I catch You're up. the one who's passing. Yeah, yeah. but later on. But yeah. here, re really, like, if you start too slow, you can be, like, 50 is, like, super easy. And so, yeah, it's, it will be interesting to see how I will manage the whole, the surroundings, I would say, more than, like, my performance. It's really interesting to hear you reflect on, like, TDS. You know, it was sort of a race within yourself, mm. but long, like, you experienced basically all the variables you'll meet yeah. in this race, but it's interesting to hear you reflect that now you have to take all that and apply it to the dynamic of a bunch of other women around you. Yeah, so, yeah, it's, I still... I want to try to really focus on like 
my strategy, even if I don't really have one, but <laughs> like my non-strategy strategy. Yeah, my non-strategy <laughs> strategy, but like try to not get coked into the the vibe or like of yeah. like going hard at the beginning. Um, but yes, you, you don't know, like what Katie said last year, that uh, she, of course she knew that she didn't have to start as fast, but then at that moment it felt just right. And so, yeah, why not also following uh, the feelings? But yeah, I don't know. I honestly, um, I'm curious and I just uh, wish to have um, a good day, even though, you know, even on the best day on an ultra like that, at some point you have the struggle is real, <laughs> even on the best day. So I think I prepared well and um, and um, yeah, so like on paper, I think I can do a good race. Uh, so I, I really look forward to see if I'm able to play all my uh, cards <laughs> at the right moment. And yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. What does it look like? Like it's a, it's it's a difficult thing to try to be competitive, but race within yourself for 100 miles. What does like Martina's own best day look like when you're visualizing that? What does that look like? So yeah, I don't know. Here I would see myself not in front uh, at the start first, because I normally try not to push too much at the beginning. Uh, but also how the race itself uh, it is here, like it's quite fast and runnable uh, until Le Contamin and then there's all the, the big climbs and the more technical climbs which is where I think I'm, I'm better at mm -hmm. so I also um, like I, at the world championship I had to change kind of strategy because all the mountains the big mountains were at the beginning and uh -huh. so I went out hard, hard. Uh, even though it was comfortable so not like too hard but like you I, felt like you had to play to your strengths then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and here I think it's like my strengths are following kind mm. of like the, the, the course. Yeah, um, that's interesting. So hopefully, yeah, I will be able to stick to my plan. And uh, I'm afraid of... Uh, the, the, the one thing I'm most afraid of is like nutrition, these okay. kind of things, because, yeah, I'm not... I don't have things dialed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. I'm like, I'm more or less, I know I have to eat something every hour and I will prepare some polenta, some rice to eat like at the ice station where I have assistance. But I don't know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like there's either, you're either like really, really methodical about one's nutrition or it's more casual like you so yeah 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 so I, I know that I don't have to eat certain things and I don't have to eat certain gels uh, but also depending on the day like something that I used to eat and I have no problem sometimes it's like it sits weird on the stomach yeah. and so it's really like it's hard to predict but uh, yeah um, I will try to to like, yeah, not uh, rush out of ice stations if it's cold to dress up because I think these things are important. Mm -hmm. And um, and yeah, and just like always remember that uh, it's a really long race. Yeah. So you can really start to actually race uh, like really far into the race if you have the energy. Yeah, I was going to ask you to sort of follow that train of thought on where you said, you know, it's more runnable to Lake Contamine and then it gets into the more technical, like going up Col de Bonon, Col de la Seine, yeah. and then the climb to like Bertone and Bonatti and Grand yeah. Colfere. And then there's some more runnable stuff later yeah. on, but then also some more technical, like have yeah. you... I don't know, thought through that second half scenario of how you manage what you say you're less good at with the things that you yeah. are good at. So I, I like, I hope to be able to not be too far away, you know, in the first part, like until uh, Champelac, mm -hmm. I would say. Um, or like even, because I think I really, really would, I would enjoy like the climb up uh, Grand Colferre, the big climbs, I really like those. But yeah, for sure, uh, the downhill uh, until after La Folie, before climbing up Champé is going to be, yeah, long. And uh, so, yeah, it's my strategy is to have like, to be ready to race actually from uh, Champelac. 
Okay. Yeah. So because there, I think there's like two really good climbs for me, and yeah, the third one was the best for me, yeah. honestly. But well, and now we're not doing it this yeah, year. Yeah, we are not doing it. Tête Vent becomes Become a forest run, I think. Yeah, yeah. So that's not so fun. But at the end, I was like, yeah, I, I was bummed <laughs> at the beginning because I was like, yeah, I really like this climb. It's nice, and it's all the technical bits after. But there's like high chances that I will be really tired <laughs> there, so it's probably even like the technical there, it will be really hard also for me. So I'm like, maybe it's not that bad, it's still climbing. So if it was all downhill or all fast running, yeah. I would be, yeah, upset. But it's still climbing, and you still have to be like strong. So, but yeah, for sure, the um, climb uh, up um, Bovine and um, uh, and the, the one after Trian, uh, yeah, yeah. there are two hard ones, yeah, so, yeah, let's see, let's see, I've been looking at the splits from the other years, uh, yeah. it's really interesting to see, like, the different strategies, and uh, and I'm just looking forward to, to race uh, with so many amazing women that I, are my friends, and most of them, and anyway, that people that has always inspired me so much. So it's really cool. And the ones you don't know, they want you want to be their friends soon, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, I'm, I'm really, I'm looking forward, uh, honestly. And uh, yeah, it's more stressful sometimes, like the day leading into the race, because there are so many things going on, like the pressure is growing, kind of. But um, yeah, we are all here to to try to prove something to ourselves ma yeah. mainly and uh, so yeah I can't wait <laughs> well best of luck proving something to yourself out there on the UTMB course <laughs> thank you thank you <laughs>